Well, the fish survey is uh, one of many tools that biologists have to monitor the fish populations in our reservoirs and streams around Ohio. And the reason we do it is to get a snapshot of what these populations look like. And that can help inform us as biologists to make management decisions to uh, make the fishing better around the state. So electrofishing is a very common tool that biologists use. One reason is it's very effective, a uh, very effective way at capturing fish, and it's also safe for fish. Basically what we're doing, we have a boat that has a generator on it, and that generator is producing an electrical current that goes to a control box. And that way we can control the output and make sure we're putting a very localized, safe current into the water. And what happens is we'll move the boat slowly along the shoreline and as we move over fish, they become temporarily stunned. Just long enough for us to net whatever we need to and we can put those fish in the boat and get the typical measurements like lengths and weights. After a few minutes, those fish can go back in the lake when we're done with them. Oh, oh. Here we go. He's ready. It's always interesting when you tell people that you're electrofishing and, and explaining that you're putting an electrical current in the water, but it, it really is a safe way to, to catch fish. And uh, it doesn't really electrocute the fish as, as it might sound when you're talking about electrofishing. It acts more like an anesthetic almost. It, it temporarily stuns the fish. Oh, he's coming too. And if you're out in the boat, you could see that some fish might get stunned for a second and some fish might get stunned for 10 seconds. And basically, within minutes, they're recovered and you know they're back to a normal behavior as if nothing happened. That one's not a big one. This is the best way that we can learn about the fish populations that are out there and then make management decisions like which regulations to put on a lake to make sure that there's enough fish out there for everybody to catch and also it helps us decide how many fish should be stocked in a certain lake and where they should be stocked. So these type of surveys give us the most information that we can then use to produce the best fishing we can using the tools that we have.